Warning, this podcast contains excessive swearing and foul language. It is therefore not suitable to be listened to by small children or at work. You have been warned. So the other day, Gav comes down with me to the C for the RSL. Oh, that's right, yeah. Remember this? Just, yeah, this was the other day. So we walk in, yeah. the bartender donkey sees me, starts pouring a pot. Yeah, nice we go to, well. We go to sit down. Then he turns to Gav and he says, uh, oh, we've got a drink named after you. And Gav goes, you've got a drink called the stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> what was the drink called? The stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> That's what I said it was. Yeah. What is he saying? Yeah, no, he said, can't. no, it's called the stupid fucking But anyway, welcome all you listeners, great listeners out there, listening to... Yeah, but this is pod deficiency. It is. Broadcasting live yeah. from GDHQ. As we do. We except no fake ones. Nah, nah, fuck no, man. We haven't done that for a while. And this would be pod 13, we think, don't we? Is it 13? If it is, you know what? What? Is it the unlucky one? No, it's what? 13, the number of the pods. The one after 12. What's today? It's Friday. Ah. <gasps> Cunts might Fuck. get scared. You just blew my fucking mind. Man, I'm just telling you reality, man. It's I hope Friday. it is the 13th one. So do I. Well, whatever number one is, it's the one after the last one. Uh, well, it's number did. 13 anyway. All right. It can be 13B. We'll do two 13s. Yeah, if we've if already it done is. it. Or if it isn't. If this is like num- supposed to be number twelve, yeah, we'll do um. But in hotels, man, they don't have room thirteens and stuff. It's a you bad luck. Yeah, they have room twelve A, or they just go from twelve to fourteen. Did you know that? I didn't. Well, I do, and it's true. Well, it's probably better than. Like if something happens now, that's why well, it was room thirteen. Yeah, and the nursing home I used to work in. Had 12, 12A, and 14. And did, like, like everyone that went into 12A just died? (laughs) Yeah, it was a mental room. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they probably did all die. It's like, all the murders happen in, like, at the hotel. All the murders happen in room 12A, but Mm. we can't figure out why. Yeah, we don't have a room 13 or anything. (laughs) You know, fuck that. So but Friday 12 A is the unlucky day. That's it. Friday the 12th, 8th. A. To. Well, anyway, it's number 13. It is. As of now, we've officially made it 13. Probably is 13. And, I hope and so. We could have so easily looked. Why? Yeah, well, that would be fuck that. doing stuff. Uh, GD styles. Fuck yeah, it. Just fucking do it. Just we'll call roll it 13. It. Simple. Call it whatever we want. We will. But look, since our last pod, it's been pretty big for both of us, hasn't it? With mm. um, life. Yeah, what's things. been going on with you? What's uh, what's exciting? With me, I will I kicked off my porn career finally. Oh, yeah, how'd that go? Fucking awesome, same. yeah. Four mm. and a half grand for... Mm, for fluffing? Yeah, for fluffing. <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I got um, Merman in the original He-Mans. I haven't seen it yet, but he says he does. Yeah, it's up there on the shelf. Merman's up the back. So that goes... Allegedly. He's there. Don't worry. <laughs> you can't say it. So that just adds another to the collection. Now I just need, like, the hard ones. There's, like, five hard ones, and then I've got them all or something. Oh, right. Really? Isn't there... There's, like, 130 or something, or... No, there's not in the first ones. No, there's not. How many is there? Sixty or something? I don't know. There's five. How many more. have you got? Five. There's five more than I've got, <laughs> and then it's a set. Really? <laughs> something like that. Who are the ones? Oh, but that's not including that fucking Wonder Bread one. You're not going to get that though. No, I'll get a. The, ma- one. the mailings don't really count. That's a special. But no one knows that that's a mail-in. Wonder Bread don't know anything about it. That's what the toy hunter said. What happened? That nobody knows if it came from Wonder Bread, because Wonder Bread don't know anything about it, apparently. That Wonder Bread He-Man figure. 
Oh, isn't it just a missed call that they called Wonder Bread no. or something, or is it? No, the, uh, according to that fucking toy hunter guy, mm. it just. You'd think he knows. Yeah. It seems like a reputable. Yeah, for a uh, yank. Yeah, like a a, a no. guy who knows his stuff. Oh, he knows the toys and shit. I so want to do the Australian version of Toy Hunter, and I want to do the Australian version of Cheaters. Oh yeah. So if anybody needs me to host those shows, please. We were talking about that earlier, but you'd get sacked mm. off like the first episode. I would you'd, not. You're just be, over exaggerating. You'd be trying to make them fight instead of. You'd be no Joey Greco. Let's just say that. Well, who's got the class? No, what Joey Greco does. Yeah. And then that's it. That new Clark Gable guy. He's a wanker. He's just, why is he just shaking hands with everyone all the time? Because he's a fuckwit. And bites another name off a fucking famous... Yeah, and that, that Clark Gable guy is like... Um, that old movie guy. Mm. And he was like real fucking suave and shit. And Classic dude. Yeah, yeah, everyone fucking loved him. He was a move Like a proper movie star. Like fucking... Fuck yeah. He was a man, wasn't he? Yeah. And then he got this fuckwit off Cheaters... Wearing, like, the fucking... The suit jacket. And then a t-shirt underneath. Yeah, yeah, Fucking way. Joey yeah. Greco. Shirt. Yeah. Tie. Yeah. Underneath the suit jacket. Just, it's just class all he's, the way. He's the man. We'll... Oh. He's a man. He reminds me of a guy that used to host a show called Blind Date. A guy named Roger Lodge. He was pure class all the way, too, you know? Was he? Fuck yeah, Roger Lodge was the man back in the day knew how to host a fucking dating show that's for sure but what are we talking about all right here's one as i was thinking about this the other day because yeah do you fucking i thought we were talking about what we've been up to oh i thought well we we're it's fucking game deficiency we haven't been up to anything yeah yeah that's right carry on we're boring cunts but fuck yeah um this when i was at work the other day i was thinking like Mm. Fucking, if you could make a basketball team mm. out of video game characters, mm. who would you put in it? And I could I could think of one position, but then I was I was like fucking stumped. Who for the rest? It was uh, Mario at point guard. Yeah, that's a uh, yeah. Because he's got like the fireball he can pass, and he's got the leaps and shit. Yeah. And, Fuck yeah. Rock off a sweet jump shot, pop some threes, just yeah. fucking. The cunts just Mario. Feed full the forwards stop. and stuff. But yeah. But then who else? I like fucking. Then, probably like Kratos, power forward. Yeah, you just, could have Kratos. Just fucking muscle cunts around. You could have Sagat as center. Oh yeah, because he's like seven two or something. Yeah, isn't he? you could have Sagat there. That's a good one, and he's got the leaps, tiger uppercut. Fuck yeah, he'll be goal ten in every cunt. Yep. Fuck yeah, what it's, does that leave a small um, forward? Small and forward and guard. guard. Yeah. Oh god. See, it's a fucking... That's not as know. easy as you no, think. No, it's not. Who do you reckon our shooting guard and small forward should be? Or who be? would your team be? Yeah. Because you know, like, fucking Rusty and, and Raname are, um, like, basketball guys. Mm, so is Rad Dave. Yeah, Rad Dave plays b-ball too, mm. yeah. Yeah, Rad Dave loves basketball. But yeah, fucking hit us up. Let us know. See if your team could beat well, our let's, team. Well, let's bang it out. Like, who's, um... Who's the shooting guard? Who's the shooting guard? Oh, fucking hell. You gotta think about. Like a fucking. I don't know. Wouldn't use Sonic because he's whack. Chuck, like, fucking Ken in, put another Street Fighter guy in. Yeah, probably could. Yeah, Ken would be probably pretty sweet. And then you you got your small forward. What does the small forward do generally? It's his role in the game. Playing the small forward position. Isn't he the shooter? Well, it depends. Like, Is he like uh, Reggie Miller and, and Spreewell and that? Are... No, they were shooting guards. Oh, were they? But um, LeBron James is a small forward, but plays like a point guard. Like, but he's huge. I don't know, the game's changed now, man. Fucking, yeah. I don't know, like Scottie Pippen, I'd say he was like the premier small forward i'd uh, say can can we just give it up for scotty pippen <laughs> he's one of the most underrated players <laughs> in yeah. the fucking game like he was so good fuck yeah like the bulls wouldn't have three-peated 
Nah. Without Pippin. Nah, of course they wouldn't. He was doing so much. Yeah, okay. Uh, And the thing about Pippin is Mm. he could run as fast with the ball Mm. as he could, like, just flat spring without the ball. Yeah. Like, when he got a... An open court. Fast to, break. Everyone would just move yeah. out the way because... He's going to ram a huge one. But you couldn't... He's just... You're going to take the charge or you're just going to get hit by a guy running full pelt out there. <laughs> it's like when Nate got out open court. Yeah, he Like he just, was going to do a backflip and fucking dunk it. And yeah, everyone would go crazy. just stand but, back and just let it happen, wouldn't they? Well, yeah, because Pippen's running at you full speed. Mm. But, but Pippen was a fucking awesome defender too. Yeah. Fucking... But you're right. They wouldn't have got all those championships without Oi, Pippen. I just figured it out. What? Scotty Pippen, small forward. Because he's in video games. Yeah, he is. So who's uh, who's our shooting guard then? Michael Jordan. He's in video games. <laughs> no, that's too cheap. <laughs> yeah, but Michael Jordan's a man. Uh, um, He-Man. But he means a cartoon guy, not a proper game guy. We were playing, we've just done like fucking four episodes of a He Man video game. Mm. See, it's cheap, we can't figure it out. See, I told you, it's a fucking, mm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a noggin scratcher. When you, if you wanted to put He Man in the mix, just put He Man as a team. You wouldn't need any other cunt on the team. I reckon Kratos could take him. No. He Man's a man, Kratos is. Kratos would just kill him though. Yeah. It just fuck cut the cunt's head off before anything could happen. Yeah, Kratos kills people. He man, fucking catches meteors and stuff, and mm, throws yeah. mountains at cunts. Kratos yeah. would dodge it and gut him. Yeah, true. That should be no. That is that's a tricky question, really, when you think about it. Yeah. So do you guys are going to have more time to think about it than we have. I've been thinking mm. about it for ages, but yeah, but you're well, not really. Way. But yeah, I'm not very clever, but. But you've still been thinking about it. And that was the thing. I thought you'd have more insight onto that because you're the... Like, and you've been watching basketball pretty much the whole time I've known you. Yeah. But that's not got nothing to do with video game people. Yeah, but... Yeah. But you got to find the right video game character. There's so many mm. out there, you know. So I'm making a homebrew. Oh, God, look out. I showed you it. You saw it yeah, before. Yeah, I know. It's these, um, it's this, Oz, they're called Oztops, oztops.com.au. Did you buy it off the net? No, the dude at work gave it to me. He was talking about it, telling me about it. And I was like, oh, fuck, that sounds cool. Yeah. And then he gave me one of the tops to go on a two liter juice bottle. Yeah. And then you put the, you get these little, like, test tubes of yeast Mm-hmm. And you put like half a cap of yeast into the into your bottle of um. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Charming, Mick. Was it not? Oh no. Charming. You, you put them into your um. Juice. To your bottles of juice, and it has to be no preservatives or no added sugar or whatever. Mm-hmm. Just straight um. Juice. Juice, yeah, and then um. It ferments and, and then there pissed. you go. Fucking hell, yours going to be toxic. Don't die off it. I don't think you could die off it because it, it can only um, alcoholize itself, if that's not a real word, but off the amount of sugar mm. that's in the juice. Because ah, that's, that's how that's juice how, has got lots of sugar in it. Yeah, Fruit's well, that's got sugar in it. That is, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. And to, you can actually make it stronger by you can pour part, um, caster sugar in there. Oh god! And make it even more potent. But but uh, if you ferment it just like for like a week or whatever, or as long as you can, yeah, it only really gets up to about eight percent just off of the natural sugar in the actual juice. Fucking hell! That's and pretty it, cool though. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, and it's so cheap because it's like twenty five bucks for the kit. Yeah. And you get different types of yeast, and it makes like 70 litres. Shit. Off, off of the thing, and off of just the, the yeast that you get in the kit. Shit. And you get different um, bottle types, like if you put it in a, like a fizzy drink bottle, <laughs> it's got the, the the gas release thing on the top of the oh, yeah. cap is, is different, so it makes it more fizzy. Oh, fuck. That's pretty cool. So you can make fizzier ones and... 
all different types of stuff and I was reading online dudes put sugar and cinnamon I mean honey and cinnamon and shit in there and fucking hell make all schmancy fucking ciders and stuff so it's truth well we'll make sure we drink your homebrew and do a podcast yeah we'll do it on a live stream or something <laughs> look out so here's the thing what you got that fucking um redness disease mm. yeah Everyone else calls it herpes. Yeah. But you call it the radness disease. Yeah. So, yeah. At least we're on the same page. Yeah. But that the the need for speed, the new one on the on the Wii U. Oh yeah. We were playing that the other day and um We were. I was playing it the other day where when you were asleep mm. you wouldn't get up. I would you're a fucking lazy cunt. Oh, that's a bit harsh. I played. It, I was playing it for ages, and I figured out how to use the map. I know, I know how to find the races now too. Yeah. Did you figure it out? No. You haven't played it since. No. And then Mario Eight. Yeah. How fucking good is that game? Oh, fucking rad! How many hours have we all put in that? Mm. Anyone who comes over just plays it, don't they? Yeah, with well, all Emmy's mates, like all this. Oh, Mario Eight, Mario Eight, and they're versing each other and stuff, and. They're just racing around. Yeah, four kids fucking going at it at once. But that, like, just playing that Need for Speed mm-hmm. reminded me, it's like... Of what? When you got that that first Need for Speed game you got on your Xbox in, like, 97, 98 or whatever. Oh, the first Xbox. Yeah. No, not Xbox, the, the PlayStation, sorry. Mm-hmm. And first we played, PlayStation. We played the fuck out of that of course we did and that that was like fuck man like that we played that so much and that just got me thinking like i haven't played a racing game in in ages like i kind of got over them for a while did you i never did for a long time like i played a bit of but that midnight club la or whatever on the 360 but yeah that had a trans am in it and then oh trans am once i got the trans am i didn't want to upgrade Mm. to play any other cars and so I couldn't like progress the Cause you'd half, have, yeah. half our story and stuff so I was just riding around or just losing races and shit and that's like <laughs> you know that's how you roll yeah it's just me being stubborn but yeah if I, I I got off racing games but I used to play the, the first test drive on PC shit let's go back back in the day like in the it was like the late 80s, I think. Would have been. Fucking. They had the, the 911 and the Lambo Countach and the, yeah. the, uh, the Lotus Esprit Turbo, I think, were the, the three cars in that. Yeah. I used to play that heaps. Fucking, that's going back. Yeah. So what's like your, your history of racing games? I'd even like playing, remember that dude that we used to go to school with, George? Yeah. He had pole position. He must have had an Atari. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, because we used to play pole position at his yeah. house and stuff. And Fuck yeah. But me, I've always kept playing racing car games, man. Need for Speeds, always got them. Always. Just my brother, he loves them and shit, so I go crank with him and shit. But always played them. Some are shit, but you know, it's all to do with the steering, in my opinion, on one of those games. But... There's and also, the handling. Yeah, the handling. But That's then, why I always loved the Need for Speed games. Yeah. And then even when the, um, the Need for Speed Carbon, when that was on the DS. and then, Oh, yeah, yeah. And that was the only thing I had at the time was a DS. And that still felt like a Need for Speed game, even yeah. on the different console. On the little console. The well, we just picked up fucking Need for Speed, the run or whatever, on 3DS, and that's pretty rad. You haven't played it yet, though, have you? Is that the run that's on the... Yeah. Because that's when you got that on the PS3 and it was ball bags. Yeah. But it's good on the DS. Yeah. And that... Ripper. That, that one, like, we, we were playing it and was like, oh, this is fucking shit. We can't even fucking, like, get past the third yeah. race or something. And then Snags is like, oh, I got that need for speed the run. Yeah, I and clocked it. Yeah, and we're like, oh, yeah, it's fucking shit. You can't beat the third race. It's like, no, I clocked it in, like fucking two goes yeah you guys just suck yeah but he always beats those games he's always played but that didn't feel like any because you could crash so easy and it it would fuck it'd end the game when you crashed yeah 
Yeah. But then I don't like the simulator games and shit where you like Daytona and all that shit. Yeah, like the ones where you have circle. to... You have to... Or, or like the Gran Turismo's and, or whatever. Yeah. Like where you have to slow down to go around the corners. Yeah, yeah, that's fucked. You just want to fang the ass end out. And yeah, you, if, if you... Drift the cunt around. Fucking just like dab the fucking handbrake and, and like fang the ass end around like you said and fucking yeah. drift around the corner. Damn or right. you just don't accelerate through the corner and then yeah. fucking punch it out. Just, yeah, exactly. Just that, like that. Yeah, that's my thing. Like if you're playing a, a video game, want it to be a video game, it's, they want to play a simulator. Yeah, like you're driving the fucking thing. And, it's, and then people are like, yeah, it feels like you're driving a car. And it's, it don't, fucking doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't feel anything Have you ever like driven it. a fucking car? Yeah, that's right. Because you have to slow down to go around the corner. It's like... To me, that's fucking stupid and defeats the purpose of being a video game, but... Yeah, I agree, but then also... But, but not knocking the, the cunts that like it, but... No, no, not at all. Everyone has their own preferences and we respect that. As long that. as you're having fun. Like, yeah. That's, that's your it. business, yeah. Fucking oath it is. But then also that... I just that, think it's stupid. But. Yeah. <laughs> but, then, <laughs> but then fucking that... Um, Fast and Furious game came out, man, on PS3. Well, I got it on PS3. It probably came out on the other stuff too, but that's pretty cool. It's like Need for Speed and shit. Is that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got I haven't the even heard of that. The characters from the movie and shit. And they all fucking real tough and... Yeah, of course yeah, they are. bro, and they fucking... <coughs> bro. Yeah, they're everything. fucking stealing fucking trucks full of fucking... Shit at fucking 200 miles per hour down a fucking highway. You know, no worries to steal that thing, you know. What about Road Fighter? Uh, fighting the road! Road Fighter! Now that's a good game. That's a racing game. It is a racing game. It that's certainly a, is. And so a, is Rad Racer. Mm-hmm. That's a racing game with a name Rad in it. But there's always, like, they've been out on everything, but... Yeah, we've always played a Medi, but my brother yeah, and I. I don't like. I'm not getting my point across. But that no, you that need do. that need for speed, whichever one it was, we still can't remember which one it was. Mm. It's the, the one that had one. it had the HSV, some sort of hot, like a Commodore, mm-hmm. and it had the the XR8 Ford. So when you can be the coppers and stuff. I think so. Was it that one? No, could... no, it was a track one, I think. Mm. Oh, no, the last one was a track. Well, fuck, I Where you had the, the McLaren was the last car that you unlocked. Yeah, the fucking F1 car. Yeah, and it was, like, I couldn't, I couldn't finish the last race because it... You couldn't drive a... Yeah, it was too fast. Yeah, it's just like driving a real car, you know? Mm, because you have so to slow down. Around corners, mm. yeah, that's right. But, nah, I like racing games, man. Speaking of cars, who just got a car? Oh, I stole one. Did you? Yeah. Is that where you got it? stole it. Nah. Drive it like you stole it, can't. Yeah, nah, yeah, did you get a car? GD's mobile now, we've got a GD mobile. We do, we're getting around and out and about on it, we will. It'll make the show even better than Radder and everything else, but, yeah, picked up some wheels yesterday. Back on the road again. So look out, cunts. Yeah, might be doing some road fighting. Never know. No, I don't road fight anybody. But <laughs> but yeah, nah. So yeah, we'll be fucking be able to go to places that we could have taken us fucking a day to get to. We can get there in twenty minutes. So mm. look out, you'll tell them about the the steering wheel. Oh yeah, well it is a bit of a <laughs> class act. It's I must a, admit. See, this is a man who's gone from having foxtail. And the internet. Yeah. At the same time. He's not just going to get a fucking, like a fucking, like a Honda Civic, no. like 1982 Honda Civic no, or something. No, 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 no. I go straight for class. Full fucking class. All the way. And what can you do? You're driving along, right? As you do. What do you do? You're driving. <laughs> and a song comes on and you're like, fuck, this song is rad. Do you want me to turn it up, Gav, on the radio with yeah. the knob? But... Do you, want, do you want me to do that? Or? You, you can, but that's when you've got a passenger. But when you're by yourself and you're the driver... I was setting you up so you could... 
Oh, yeah. Say, no, I can do it. No, I can do it. Yeah, but that's getting ahead of me story. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. sorry. But, but that's I'll, good. I'll, do you want me to edit it out or? No, nah, leave it. All right. People know what we're talking about. So, yeah, you're driving <laughs> along and you think to yourself, fuck, this song's rad. But you're advised to drive safe, are you not? Yeah. Seat belts, hands on the steering wheel at all times. Ten and two, Gav, ten and ten two. Ten and two. So what do you do? You can't it's, take your hand off the wheel to, nah. to turn the But you like this song, up, do yeah. you not? you got to pump it. So what do you do? You've also got to let everyone that you drive past know... Yeah. That you like this song. <laughs> yeah, fucking <laughs> uh, That's right. <laughs> Windows down when it's six <laughs> degrees outside. So what do you do? It's the, it's that whoop, whoop. It's the sound yeah. of the police. Yeah. The KRS one. What's that song called? The sound of the police. There you go. <laughs> but, yeah. So what do you do? You can't take your hands off the wheel because you want to drive safe, you know. And you got, you got to. Let everyone else hear the blast master, the teacher. That's it. So knowledge rule supreme over nearly everyone, Gav. So that's right, over nearly everyone. If they, but they need to hear it. They do, and they will hear it because what can I do? I have the luxury <laughs> of just buttons on the steering wheel of turning it up, turning it down. What radio to CD? That sounds like. Lies. Switch of tracks. They haven't invented. Switch it. Nah, they haven't invented nah, stuff like that. I'm living it. I'm living it. So, <laughs> not only will you all hear the sound of the police, because like Ed said, everyone's got to hear it. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, that's what he says in the song. <laughs> I know. I've heard it. <laughs> and it go, yeah, I can just turn the can up whenever the fuck I want. And why? Because I'm living luxury. But you know, you got ripped off because there's no. The little windy things to make the windows go down. I know, oh, they put buttons on it. What do the buttons do? Turn the windows up and down. What? I oh, know. Who wants fucking buttons? Do, what? Is that some sort of electricity oh, that no. makes that work? Or? Oh, I don't know. Look, it sounded more like a spaceship, isn't it? <laughs> it does. It's, it's crazy. No one's going to believe you. I know. No one's going to. You've this been te- in it. This technology hasn't been You've invented. been in it. Tell them. Tell them you've been in it. That's just true. Yeah. And I'm trying to trying to diss on you, but I can't, can't prove anything. No, 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 I can't I'm done. It. Like the, this is probably the first time I can't. Can't rag I remember on me. When we got back in, and I was like, "Fuck, I can't even tease you about your car." Yeah, because you like it. it fucking piss me off. Yeah, should have got a shit one so I could tease you about yeah. it forever. Yeah. Oh, I'm the hunt <laughs> for a car, man. Is it fun? No. Is it easy? No. Sure. Well, you just go to the car shop and buy a car. Yeah, I know. Simple. There's like four car shops on the way to the station. Like, yeah, but they're all shit. How hard's that? Just they're go all buy shit. one. But I went from Frankston to St Kilda, man, checking out car yards and shit. Oh, fuck. I'm glad it's over. And uh, and we're rolling. So look out. You, Eddie and I might do like suburb guest appearances. Oh, yeah. We could. At shopping centres and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, do the EB games. As, they get up on the stage and shit. Yeah, and... tell cunts how it is and shit, you know. Well, look, that's just an option that we have now, mm. you know. And we have the option of turning music up and down just... I don't even have to do it. And wheel. you can do it safely without endangering our lives. That's right. Exactly right. That's the main thing is safety, which we... Mm. Safety in- first, second and third, Gav. Yep. That's my motto. That's right. <laughs> it is. It, but, yeah. I work in, it, like, dangerous jobs where there's fucking idiots and crazy people everywhere, so... You, yeah, he does. You gotta you gotta look out for yourself. And for everyone else, too. Fucking oath. There's yeah. Charles. There's, Must be a bargain foot around there. Or is he? Or he can... There is. There's one out back. Yeah. Look out. Here he comes. Oh, oh. What's the matter, Charles? There's bargain foots afoot. Is there a bargain foot, Charles? Oi! Knock it off. Doing a podcast. Leave bargain foot alone. Good boy, Charles. You're a brave man. Shush. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Look out. And now it's time for... Gav's a cheapo. Yeah! Just some helpful advice to put change in your pockets you all need it to buy yourself extra games that's it so what's what's your uh what's this this yeah what's this one Mm. well 
Well, just think of yourself, right? You, who doesn't like a roast chook? I oh, fuck it, I do. You love a roast chook. I just put my, I put my hand up. He did hands right up. But you can't see. So have to take our word for it. But look, a lot of people like a chook, you know. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And they're pretty expensive. The chooks, they're like twelve bucks, aren't they? Oh fuck the roast yeah, chooks. Yeah, it's like eleven, twelve bucks. Expensive. Now, w- w- when when do you like to eat a roast chook, Ed? Um, when Any, I'm hungry. When you, <laughs> so, so, so no specific time to eat a roast chook for yourself. No, but the thing is about if you get a roast chook, mm. you can eat like half of it straight away, just fucking mung it down, or yeah. you can you can make a meal out of it, put some veggies with it. True. But then you got the other half. Yes. You got sangers for days, fuck mate. Fuck yeah, sangers, fucking. Fucking sangers for days. For me, I feed me dogs with it. But anyway, getting back on track. So, like, you like a chook, 12 bucks, you're a bit, mm, ah, you know what I mean? Because you put it, put your sides to it's it, a, like it's you a, said. It's a payday thing. You're not getting one every fucking nah. day of the week. Well. Fucking payday, I'm flush. 12 bucks, yeah, right, I'll get myself yeah, a well, roast chook. All right, you get it on payday. But would you believe that you could get it every day? No. For a means of, you know, two, three, four dollars at the most? That's... Like, nah, nah, I'm telling you. Tell lies again. Telling you all. Go to your local supermarket. Go when it's time, they close about midnight and shit, you know. So go there about 11 o'clock. Right. <laughs> Roast chooks reduced. Two, three bucks. Bad income. They're hot. Still, mm. I used to do it all the time when I lived in Richmond with Shay. Well, oh, there you go. And why did you do it? Because they were a dollar each. Yeah, exactly. We'd yeah. get one each and you just munched f- the fuck on. Yeah, and then yeah, we'd eat half of it. That's and it. Then, uh, then you got dinner for the next night, mm. don't you? So that was two meals for a dollar, and you were going at what eleven o'clock at night or something, were you? Yeah, we. But Shay had it down. He'd be like, like we'd be drunk as fuck because we we're. Young uh, punk dudes, yeah, young punk rockers living in a house in Richmond, working at the corner hotel. There you go, the life of a punk, mate. Yeah, and then it's a shame, like, punk. he'd just say, Oh, cheap chickens are oh, fuck you. Yeah. And we'd roll in and get them for like back in then, there's like 2006, I think they were like they were a buck each. Yeah, now they're like three bucks, man, and mm. you get it, bargain. And also, while you're there, you know, why stop at just one bargain? Because you're there. You're well, what there. else is spoilable what, that what, has to be sold well, in one day? Believe it or not, believe it or not, you've got your breads, you've got your rolls, you've got your donuts, your danishes, your pastry dishes, oh, your cakes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All them are reduced as well. You get a loaf of bread for like 40 cents, man, and it was cooked that morning. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. But it's not good the next day, you know, mm. it's not fresh, so people aren't going to buy it. So... I was just playing along then, but yeah, you just fucking no, made me think. That's it. Mate, so you're getting your fucking, your bread, donuts, your sweets, you know, and your lunch for the next day. There's the bread to put on the leftover chicken. That's your sanger for the next day. That's it. Take that to work with you. You'll be fucking kicking goals, mate. Your boss will be wrapped with you. And then have chicken toasties that's when you get right. home. There that's- you go. You heard it from Ed. There yeah. you go. That's what you do. So that's, that, that's like a like a four buck fucking meal. Three days worth of fucking yeah, feeding. That's it, and it's good tucker too. It's that's, not shit food. Yeah, it's good for you. You got your carbs. You got your protein. Yeah, you got your steroided chooks. So mm-hmm. you got your roids as well. Yeah, so you're gonna be right. You know, you're gonna... it's not technically steroids. It's it's growth hormones, but same thing. Yeah, it does the same Gets shit. Gets you there. Yeah, it's the same. That's right. So that's me gave the cheapo this time, you yeah, know? That's a fucking good one. That is a good one. Try it out. I want to go get some cheap donuts. Go on, go get some cheap donuts, mate. You'll get a fucking... Oh, here's one. We could drive there too. This happened to me recently. Yeah, go on. This is how you get a free pizza, Gav. Oh, do tell. Fuck. I could try this one out. Oh, definitely. Go hit us up. So I ordered a pizza. Yeah. From the local pizza shop. Mm-hmm. And it's... The thing is that these guys, it's like, ah, fucking, on a Sunday, Yeah. it takes them forever. Like, on a weekday, they're fucking, like, it's a a different guy answers the phone, 
and they, the pizza whew, straight away bang straight in the oven on its way eh? on a sunday they must have like the sunday stuff different person on the phone probably kids or some shit is yeah. it yeah it, it, last time I did it, it took like a fucking hour. I rang him up. It's like, yeah, it's been an hour. And like, oh no, it's on the way. It's on the way. And then twenty minutes later, the the pizza turns up. It's like, jeez, an hour and twenty minutes to wait for a fucking pizza. Yeah, and, then, oh, and I was fucked. like, like you know, not gonna make a fuss. Fuck these guys. Yeah, you just won't order again. Yeah, but Simple. then, but then it came to another Sunday of fucking starving. Yeah, may or may not have been a little bit hungover. You would have been. I may or may not have been. <laughs> may have been. <laughs> I'm not fucking cooking. I'm not good, like, walking all the way to the kitchen and then cooking stuff. No, way two rooms away. Fuck that. Ring it up. Ring up the pizza. It's like, yeah, pepperoni pizza. Like a Ninja Turtle. That's why I get them, because they're the only ones that look like pizzas. Yeah. Because it's a pizza with the... With the red circles on it. That's right, the pepperoni meats. And I and I like it. It's like a cheese pizza with a bit of meat on it. It's anyway. Yeah. Pepperoni. You were hungover. You rang him up because and you I was starving. And I had it eaten all day. Yeah. It's like six at night, or something, yeah. or seven, or whatever. Yeah. Looked at my phone. It's like fuck. It's been ages playing a few video games and shit. And then mm. it's like, like it's been over an hour since I called him. So I rang him back. It's like, hey, where's the... I, I, just, I rang up before. ordered the pizza. It was like over an hour ago. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's on the way. It's on the way. Yeah. And like 10 minutes later, the guy comes, gives him the pizza, I give him the money, go sit down, open the pizza. Yeah. And it's all fucking chicken and there's vegetables and shit Ew. on it. And I was like, ah. Oh. And I was like, I could just fucking eat it. But then the... The guy that ordered the chicken pizzas, getting a pepperoni, and he's yeah. probably going to ring up. And as I, I rang him back and said, uh, "You guys gave me the wrong pizza." And like, yeah. oh, "What did you order, pepperoni?" And like, "What did you get?" I was like, "I don't know. There's chicken and vegetables on it." They go, "Oh, that's the wrong pizza." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> really, you didn't know that though. What? It was the wrong pizza. I didn't. No, I was joking. Ah. And then the, and then it's like, all right, we'll send the right one out. We'll send the right one out. And then the, like about half an hour later, I'm fucking starving by now. I bet you are. And I go to hand the guy the pizza, like to swap him over, and he's like, no, no, it's on the house. And he gave me the pizza. Yeah. And then I tried the the chicken one with all the spices and vegetables on it. It's yeah. fucking awesome. Really? Yeah, it's really good. And that's how you get a free pizza. But if I'd known. Like, if that had happened before and I knew I was getting the, that pizza for free... Yeah. I would have eaten that and then had the other one saved it for tomorrow. Yeah, and, you silly fucking cunt. But I waited because I'm a... You were starving, though. You waited fucking long enough to get your taco. Yeah, but I'm a nice guy. I didn't, that's not my pizza. I can't eat it. Why not? Well, it's not my one. It's someone else's. I thought... Fuck them. Yeah. But that's how you get a free pizza. That is a good way to get it. Especially if you like the first one that comes, it's wrong. Yeah. So, just there you go. Have, have an incompetent pizza place that you go to. Yeah, that's it. You can mix up your meals. You can have chicken then, one night and pizza the next. Right, and the reason why I didn't want to go to another one, because all the pizza menus are out where the cooking utensils are. Oh, that's and too that's, far of a walk. Yeah, and that's the only one that I have in my phone on the... Well, I think you should save other numbers in your phone, Ed. Well, I'm going to... There's that one at the station near the... Yeah, they make ripper pizza. Near the Chinese place that I like to go to. Yeah, Edith Fowl Pizza. I don't mm. know what they're called, but they're fucking Something. yum. Yeah, is it good? Fucking Oh, yeah, because you used to live just down the street yeah, from there. the cheese pizza there is the best I've ever had. Their sauce is just fucking yum as fuck. Oh, fuck, yeah. I'm playing myself like an idiot going to that one. It's, yeah. It's what you get for having fucking stupid housemates, but... But well, you got a free pizza, so... Yeah, I did, yeah. That's, so that's a good story, man. That's neither here nor there. Yeah. Now, here's a story, Gav. All right, carry on, Columbus. They're making Transformers... Yeah? ...that turn into video game consoles. Are they really? Mm-hmm. You fucking psyched? I didn't understand it. All right. The first one... It's a PlayStation. Original PlayStation. Yeah, the PlayStation 1. Yeah. Yeah. 
bop, 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 we turn it out, do all the things, turns into Optimus Prime. Fair dinkum, are you serious? PlayStation must prime, they call it. Are you serious? I'm deadly serious. What the fuck? Check this out. And who makes them then? Takara. The guys yeah. that invented the Transformers. Mega Drive. Yeah. Fuck it. You bop, 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 bop. Click it out, do all the things. Turns into Megatron. Really? Segatron. What the fuck? How fucking dope is that? That's pretty interesting. I lost my shit. Like, that's <laughs> fucking... I got the fucking Transformer logos tattooed on my chest. You do? In between the big dick. Mm. Yeah. Well, the dick moves. Like, the, the dick's not <laughs> tattooed there. It just usually rests there. Oh, but... well, yeah, because your boyfriend puts it there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's pretty cool. Mm. That would be... It'd be cool to have in the collection, though. Ah, oh, dude, I saw Alpha, Alpha Omega Sin did a video on it. Yeah. And then I'm scrolling through the chat. Guess how much they cost. 120 what? bucks. Is that all? American. Is that all? I thought you were going to say, like, a grand or something. No, it's fucking 120 bucks for a toy. So? Would you, buy, would you pay that much? Yeah. Fuck. Of course I would. I thought you were a cheapo. I am a cheapo, but that sounds like a pretty cool thing. It seems cool. For so not only to a video game collector, but also a Transformer collector. That appeals to both. Does and I'm not, not even the cheapo, but that price, like, fucking put me off. If they're... But they're, I don't know how big they're going to be, though. So you just... If they're to scale as big as, a, as the console... Yeah. Because then the robot's going to be... Yeah, huge. But how big is that? That's like a foot tall. Yeah. That my hands are doing that you guys can't see. Yeah. But it's like not... that would be worth that much. But I thought, nah, fuck that. Like. But is it made to be used as a video game that's a, console? That's a toy. It's not a... So the console doesn't work? We can't because the motherboard in a console goes through the whole thing and then it becomes a part. Like the round bit is the chest. Yeah. On the, uh, the Optimus Oh, bone. okay, okay. And I the get side it. bits are his arms and stuff. And That's pretty cool. It's fucking heaps cool. I'll have to look at pictures of that. But that's fucking... But that price, man, like for, for a Japanese import toy, like... Nah, that's not a bad price. I'd pay that for a... You don't think so? A Wonder Bread He-Man. So I have to get it <laughs> now. Yeah, will they come to Australia? They will if I buy one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Sounds like a cool thing. That's fucking awesome. It's like the most awesomest thing ever, but... But you don't want to pay $120 for one. Not for a toy that I'm going to... trans Because I'm going to have to open it too to transform it. Oh, fuck yeah. Because I've, I've got Ninja Turtle toys in boxes, but I, like or, or on card, but I have to open Transformers and transform them. Yeah, of course you do. That's what it's all about. That's what we used to do when we were kids. Didn't we, Brucey boy? We got Brucey chilling on the couch with us. It's like fucking two degrees outside. It's fucking cold, man. Yeah, it's Melbourne. This is balmy Melbourne weather. It's, but yeah, fuck, they... That sounds very interesting, Ed. Being a toy fans as we are, as well as video game fans, that's pretty cool. We need to make a He-Man one. You know what I saw on Facebook? What? There's this like, I don't know, some He-Man thing that I was following. Well, I still am, mm. and it's like some cunt, and it's got fucking a He-Man fucking classics figure of He-Man, right? Yep. And this cunt fucking. Takes photos of He-Man sitting on the train, looking out the window, or at oh, the beach, cool. or at the fucking market, and yeah. all this shit. It's pretty funny. Like, and, it, and it looks like the He-Man's actually there, or is it yeah. just him holding it in front of the camera, or does he, like, force perspective it so it looks like he's life-size? No, nah, it looks like a He-Man toy just chilling oh, it's everywhere just, else. It's just the toys there. Yeah. <laughs> like that other kind who goes around Australia with that goat. Have you seen that goat? It's like Sammy the goat or something, and he like this cunt, this bogan dude, just takes his goat like all around Australia to pubs and. Is it a real goat? Yeah. Oh, that's it's a real awesome. goat, and it, like gets up and fucking runs around the bars and shit, and cunts love him. <laughs> I forget his name, but. Is it Sammy? Maybe Sammy the goat. 
or something the goat but yeah he's pretty funny man that goat and the he-man was funny sorry to interrupt but i just thought that was that was very appropriate i thought it was pertinent information yeah all right here's another thing oh god you're full of fucking talking tonight oh mate it's it's what happens when you're leading a podcast yeah that's uh, true you gotta Um, keep me in line mm. what go on fire away eddie Google's bought Twitch. Google's bought Twitch. And Google owns YouTube. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh. And they own our phones too because we've got Android phones. Do they own our phones? Yeah. Who uh, does? Uh, Google runs Android. Really? Yeah. Shit. Google's fucking the boss. Yeah. Isn't it? So what did they do? They bought... They bought Twitch. What's Twitch? That's where you play your video games, don't that's, you? That's where we do our live streams on. Oh, oh on that thing? Yeah. What so did they buy that for? Because it makes money, so... Oh, does it? And it's the only competition to YouTube as well. Uh, which they own. Mm. So Fucking now they own both. Fucking bastards. That's a monopoly now. Damn right it is. And with the... Uh, like on YouTube, like if you play a song that someone else owns, yeah, can't put the video up. You fucking use anything. Like even if you're not making money off it, yeah. Like us, get fucking flagged for fucking using a very Australian song. Yeah, but we won't get into that. No, nah, fuckheads. But one of the things that I really fucking hate about Twitch what? is that the when you watch a Twitch stream, someone's playing a game like. Like, I watch a lot of Smite on the Twitch. Yeah. Is that they play music. Yeah. And fucking nine times out of ten, just like everyone else in the fucking world, they got horrific fucking taste in music. Yeah. So it's like, it's, oh, man, I'm trying to watch you play and listen to you. It's, say, like, oh, I'm doing this because of this. Yeah. It's, hey, I learned to play. You watch the... And these are, like, the pro players. Yeah. And they're, they're like, so, so I'm doing this because of this. And you're like, ah, oh, fucking I'm learning stuff. But there's fucking, oh, <laughs> the worst fucking just ass music you can ever oh, think of. fuck, that's fucked. There's nothing worse. Playing. And like, like when we do our live streams. Yeah. It's us talking in the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just fucking raw. Like, we could fucking, you roll. We could play some fucking mad thumping beats or some fucking... Some rad fucking punk songs, but easy. But no, it's just fucking. Yeah, just need to it. like that. That might be one thing that's good is they'll have to stop doing that shit. Because if they put the 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 flagging system in, so they yeah. can't fucking. Oh, it's so annoying. It's fucked. Yeah, but but no one knows what's gonna happen. Like, are they gonna just let Twitch do what they want, or are they gonna give Twitch more money to? Make it better. Make it better, like, um, and work, like, work better and put Ooh. more servers near us and stuff so we can stream faster and shit. Let's hope so. Yeah, it's a, but it's just up in there, but that's a thing that happened. And that's about video games and... Yeah. It's something that we're, we're involved in both sides of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very peripherally, because we're not making money off... Peripherally. Yeah, that's make fuck word. all. <laughs> that's a fancy word Ed but fuck all yeah it's not that fancy right let's do some questions Gab some Q&A's <laughs> hey <laughs> alright we have a young Peter Murphy once again with a question and Peter has to say how many times has Eddie cried in Gav's arms because Gav stole his lollies once just once was it only once yeah because you never did it again because you felt so bad. Yeah, that's true. And I beat the fuck out of you. That's not true. Not true at all. Well, there you go, Peter. That's... Eddie even told you. So it's true. It's on the internet. It's true. Okay, we've got Tails. In Highlander, when they say there can only be one, which Xbox are they talking about? The first one. The third one. First. But the third one's the Xbox One. No, it's not. It can be only the Xbox One. No. That's not true. 
The, it's the first Xbox is the original. Yeah, but it's not the Xbox One. Yeah, but that's it's why the third it's, one's the Xbox One. Yeah, I know, but that's just so shit, as we always say, how <laughs> shit it is. Like, fuck. It's awesome. It's the best name ever. It is. So there you go, Tails. Fucking... It's the first one. The first one. Or the third one. Or the third one. Depends how you look at which one's the, f- the one. Mm. Isn't it? That's that. We have Kate Mason. Good evening, Kate. Hello, Kate. I want to hear... Oh... I want to hear how to wave my hands like Gav. But what you do is you smash yourself in the face with a brick until you're as stupid as Gav. Yeah, it's a few hits though. Oh yeah, it takes yeah. a while. You gotta, you gotta bear that you're gonna cop a few. Mm. Yeah, and, and then, then once like, you're severely brain damaged enough, yeah. then you should be able to do it. I reckon. Yeah, that'd probably work. Yeah, that's probably I would have said the same. Mm. Yeah, true. So that's how you do it. Wave your hands like me. I'm waving them now. <laughs> <laughs> and who we got here? Barry Allen. Why is Gav such a potty mouth? Well, Barry. There's two schools of thought on this. There's, there, there could be. I'm going with one. What's that? You're a fucking idiot. That's why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why am I a potty mouth? I, I was brought up classy with, you know... Elegance, wasn't I? No. <laughs> I was, wasn't I? I just hit him then. Ow. Yeah, fucking stop bastard. stealing my lollies. So why am I such a potty mouth? Well, I'm not really a potty mouth. It's just, it's the um. It's just he's a bit of a stupid cunt. Yeah, you hit yourself in the brick in the head with the brick a few <laughs> times, but it's to do with the company I'm with at the time. So with you, I can't help it. Um, Barry Allen, when I'm around you, I've got to just tell you how much of a fuck with you. Are. <laughs> So good old fuck face. Yeah, uh, what's your answer on it then? Because you said there was two answers. I was just talking. I don't have a reason. Make one up. Oh, uh, it's because you're an idiot. Yeah, because uh, I'm an idiot. So that's why I'm such a potty mouth. There's and the other bit that remember. Tobias Krebs. Oh yeah, we got another question. Just wait for Gav to lay her up. Tobias Krebs. Yeah, read those ones. Okay, and last but certainly not least. This is our final question. And this is from Tobias Krebs. Question for podcast. One. What is a game that has made you so angry you've either snapped the disc or spat in the cartridge? Ed? Um, none, really. I remember when I was trying to play the World of Warplanes when that first was in beta. Mm. It was... Like, it was so bad and fucked up, I couldn't even play it. That made me really angry because I wanted to play it, but... So that's... I never spat on a cartridge or snapped a disc, but I did fucking break a PlayStation 1 controller playing fucking Street Fighter Alpha, and you had to get so many perfects with so many super special finishes and shit to unlock shit, and you'd get... Oh, yeah, I just remember swinging it, and it's just <laughs> smashed on the ground into pieces. It wasn't you that broke it, it was the ground. Yeah, it was... I didn't mean to bust it. I was just like, fuck, and I swung it and by the cable, and... Yeah, the ground was there. I fucked it. Anyway, we have three questions from Tobias, should mm-hmm. I say, and that was the first. What's the second <clears> one? Question number two. What is a game... Oh, Bruce. That, fucking hell. You right, Bruce? He nearly took the fucking computer out, you silly bastard. Oh boy. Okay. What's going on? Okay, question number two mm-hmm. of the three, so the middle question. What is a game that you have have completed so many times, your friends even think it's weird? Well, every game I play, I clock, so... Mm. Numerous times. Just a matter of what I'm playing at the time, I guess. What about you? Um... You beat Mario, Super Mario Brothers, a bunch of times. Yeah, and I've beat Marvel Alliance 1 and 2 a whole bunch of times, and Saw games a few times. um, God of War I finished a few times because I've had three different PlayStations. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. Just That's how I roll. I just clock a game when I touch it. Got the skills. I don't really play games through again once I finish them. No. Not that much. You don't? No, not really. You just take the... Fucking just take the W. And yeah. Fucking move on. Stands it, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just leave. <laughs> yeah, leave while you're a winner. <laughs> fucking oath. That's it. All right. Final question. So this is the third question. 
What is a game you have been so keen for, and when it comes out, you've played it, and it's shitter than saggy tits? Well, I love saggy tits. I love perky tits. I love big tits and small tits. So, I fucking love tits. But, a game that's let me down. I remember when Crackdown 2 came out. Yeah. Because Crackdown 1 was so good. Yeah. And then in Crackdown 2, they changed everything and it was fucking so boring. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a piece of shit. And also, um, Kane and Lynch 2. Cause the first, oh, yeah. The first one was heaps of fun. Yeah, you clocked that like in one night at my house or something, didn't you? Yeah, nearly. That you Chris, got on the piss. That Christmas and Snagsy bought a slab and then didn't want any. Yeah. And you weren't drinking and so I drank the whole slab and... And played that all night, didn't yeah, you? stayed up all night playing that. And I think I got right to near the end and then I finished it. I got it on the Xbox. Yeah. And that was pretty good. And then the second <laughs> one, that was just fucking... Was it fucked? Oh, it's terrible. I haven't played it. It's one of the worst games I've ever played. Shit, well, there you go. Don't get Kane and Lynch too. No. Eddie says it's shit. I ended up finishing it, but it's like, it's just like, fuck you to the game. Yeah, because you're so shit. Yeah, Yeah, fucking. Didn't enjoy it. Nah. How about you? Me? Fuck, I don't know, man. Nothing's really let me down. Um, I can't think of anything, man. Seriously. Um, no, I can't. Can't think of anything, so... Sorry. <laughs> but they were awesome questions. Too. They were good questions. Thank you to um Tobias. It's just a shame we didn't have any good answers for them, but... No, but, hey, we just told you what, what we were thinking at the time, you yeah, know? It's GD style. That's how we roll it. So, that's our questions. Um... Write your questions down and shit, man. Woman's, man's, whoever's. <laughs> Both, if you're a fucking... Manly women and womanly men. Yeah, womanly men and manly women. And if you're a um, hermaphrodite... Hermaphrodite? Diet. You can be have both. So you're welcome to listen anyway. <laughs> Ask us questions. We don't, we, we don't give a fuck what, what you are. So, Yeah. That's what I reckon. That's what Gav reckons. Mm. And what about you, Eddie? What have you got to say? Recommend a game, Gav. Quick. Quick. Recommend Quicker. a game. Super Mario All-Stars. Because all the Marios are on them. One, two, three. And the other one, they're fucking rad. And, yeah. On the Wii. On the Wii. On the fucking Snares. Super Nintendo. Mm. On... Your mum. Yeah. On me mum. On Ed's mum. Oh, that's gross. But... Too soon. No, it's not too soon. But yeah, what about you? Go on, recommend a game. Um, shit. It's a shit game. <laughs> Don't play it. I forgot what it's called now. Oh, you wanker. Wait, 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 wait. Killing Floor on the PC. Killing Floor on the PC. Don't play it. Uh, it's fucking ripper. Is that that one where it's a bird's eye view and you're that dude breaking, smashing through the doors and killing the other cunts in the rooms? No, that's... um. That was a good game. Hotline Miami. Yeah, that was a good game. But Killing Floor is like a shooter, co-op shooter. Yeah. And you kill monsters. Oh. I played it the other night. I hadn't played it for months, and I was, I wanted to play a shooting game with other people. Yeah. And I remembered I had that installed, and I fucking tore it. Yeah, had a couple of rounds on that. Had a really good team. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, I was in it. Mm. With my Foxtel. With your imagination. Yeah. But there's there's two good games recommended mm. by us, and that's what I've recommended. Yeah. So. What else you got? Um, nothing. Is that it? That's it. Did I tell you I got Merman? I think so. Yeah, well, I'm telling you again. I got fucking Merman in the original He-Mans. <laughs> Johnny Boston. All right, we got to go. See you. Peace out. Bye.